Jews are more likely to suffer from certain genetic diseases like cystic fibrosis and Tay-Sachs disease. There's been a push by Jewish organizations in Los Angeles to convince couples to get tested before having children. At Sinai Temple in Beverly Hills, Ashkenazi Jews are being tested for 19 different genetic diseases. Persian and Sephardic Jews are tested for eight diseases commonly carried by that group. It's a simple blood test that they take. It's, it's just a small amount of blood, and that enables them to have all the information that they need about these diseases. Debbie Hirschman is one of the organizers of the Los Angeles Project for the Prevention of Jewish Genetic Diseases. She says tests could cost upwards of a couple thousand U.S. dollars. But at this screening, testing is just 25 U.S. dollars with insurance. And it's recommended for anyone that has at least one Jewish grandparent. You will only know if you are a carrier either by getting screened or having, sadly, an affected child. So it's so important to be screened because a carrier is a healthy person. And many people think that they would know if they were a carrier by how they felt. But every person who's a carrier is healthy. Emma Katz Nelson and her husband, Yossi Surgent, are getting screened because they want to start a family. For Katz Nelson, family history played a big part in her decision. I know that I am a T-sex carrier, so I think that piece of information allows me to think about what perhaps could also be a part of my genetic picture and definitely interested in what Yossi's look like. Carolyn Gold knows the devastation of losing a child to Tay-Sachs. After her son died in the early 1960s, she worried about passing along the disease yet again. All I knew was that one in four uh, pregnancies you had the possibility of becoming pregnant with another child with Tay-Sex, and I chose then not to go any further, and ad we adopted our family. Prior to her son's death, she says he took part in testing that allowed a doctor to develop a genetic test to identify the Tay-Sachs gene. Here, counselors meet with couples before the blood tests are taken and then sent out to a lab. Our camera wasn't allowed in the testing room during the screenings because of privacy laws. Organizer Stacy Sharp says it's important aspiring parents get educated on options in case they learn they are carriers for a disease. Even if you end up with one of these diseases, you can still have healthy children. So, and a lot of people don't know that. They think, oh my God, my, I, I'm a carrier of this disease, I can't have kids. But that's not the case. There are many different options for couples carrying a Jewish genetic disease, including in vitro fertilization, egg and sperm donation, and prenatal diagnosis. Even if parents have a healthy child, they are encouraged to get tested again before having another, because as technology advances, doctors will be able to test for additional diseases. The demand for genetic testing has been overwhelming. Organizers say about 200 people registered in advance for the four and a half hour event, and they've already scheduled three more screenings in the coming months. Lindsay Mastis for JN1, Los Angeles.